Hey guys, welcome back to Die Jesus. My name is Maple. And I'm Ariana. And today we're watching Peaky Blinders 1 Season 5, Episode 6, The Finale. Woo! If you like what you see here, like and subscribe and then check out our Patreon. We've got full length watch alongs as well as early access to future YouTube edits and movies. Yes. <laughs> Just that. The, the fucking cigars are beefy, dude. The beefy ass cigars. You prefer Irish to Scotch? Yes, Mr. Churchill. Irish over Scotch, cigarettes over Havana cigars, and your mother was probably born in a tent. Grandmother in a tent. Your mother on a narrowboat. And always happy to give smart answers to men born better than you. Man needs to prove he is better than me, rather than show me his birth certificate. See, I don't have one, so they mean very little to me. You speak beautifully in the house. Thank you. And believe not a word of what you are saying. Oh, it was him listening. Oh, I didn't, I couldn't ocean, tell him in the, the shadows. Laboratory. You read Greek literature. I have trouble sleeping. I feel like whoever that is has on prosthetics, though. Is there a reason for your visit? Yeah, it looks like he's wearing a mask. Yeah, it looks a little you funky. Are forming an alliance with a fascist. Because yeah. the eyes aren't totally sure. like. Correct. I made some inquiries amongst the worst people in Whitehall, and I found out that you are not forming an alliance with him at all. You are spying on him. Yes. Why? I'm no longer sure. Yeah, the, the, his face is France. leaning into Uncanny Valley. Men right? Like, where I'm like, is that a human? I see the green or am I scared? Of another war. Growing up around his feet. I can't look him in the eye. I'm not going to look him in the eye. You see exactly the same thing I do. That's why you oppose him. Yeah. Your mystery solved. What is your strategy? I won't burden you with this. You're going to break the law. I have no doubt that there was once a time in Flanders when you were under the ground and I was above it. Both working to the same end. We are in the same exact situation here in Westminster. Do what you have to do, Mr. Shelby. And if you need anything, call me. There are sometimes, some nights, when I don't see the point of carrying on with any of it. Mm, that old dance routine. I put out a cigar, and an hour later, I want another. Sometimes the bridge between ours is as fragile as that. But use it anyway. A tent, then a boat, then a house, now a mansion. It's something, isn't it? I got the Harold French referee in Liverpool. He just wants cash. Tom the Tata ref in Sheffield Wednesday wants cash and a beating from a bloke who's screwing his wife. Pat Doctor said go easy on the whiskey, yeah? You don't knock. No, Finn. Right. Hello, Billy. How are you, Mike? Good, Mr. Shelby. Yeah, you look good. That's a nice suit. Thank you, Mr. Shelby. He earned that suit. We made more on the matches than we did on the races last Saturday. You're coming up in the world, I like it. How's the missus? The old trouble and strife, as the cockneys like to call it. She moved out. One of my joined her. Hey, uh, want to join the party? Look at this. I'm having some fun. You were a good man, Billy. What a good man. Yo. Hmm? Look at you. Sitting here with your mates, are your best mate. Well, why are you sitting here talking about our business? You remember? You tell this man about our family business. It's his life you're risking. Because people talk, Finn. Um, we, we all never talk about football and women, Miss Shelby. Football and women, we only ever talk, we only ever talk about football and women. Oh, oh there it is. This is... Hmm. Arthur is has literally zero moral hmm. compass anymore, I guess, then too, you know? Go Not that there was much anyway. Family Both Linda being, guys. yeah. Ugh. Oh, I... You're bearing up, Arthur. Bearing up for what? Bearing up to be free, pal. 
An apology from Lizzie. She can't be here. Charles is a violin concert. Also, a welcome to Mr. Abadama Gold. He and Polly are to be married in three weeks with my blessing. From now on, Abadama will be. Yeah, welcome. age looks and good on lessons. him. Colonel Ben Younger, who may perhaps have become a member of this family, was taken from us four days ago by dark forces. We've made some investigations. We think we know who planted the bomb. Oh, so they just killed him. In the meantime, our thoughts are with Ada, the baby inside of her. We may one day sit at these meetings, but... Wait, they killed... Yes! Th this is, like, what, what, why? Let's drink to happier circumstances. Yeah. I'm like... What? I, I, what are they Ida. doing with this episode? Ada. Ada. Which is likely why she's actually not showing up. An announcement regarding Michael. <clears throat> Before you go on, Tommy, there's something I'd like to say to the whole family directly regarding finances and the future of this company. According to your own estimations, this new venture of the delivery and shipment of opium will bring into the company around two million pounds per year. Due to the amounts involved, I think this company should be restructured. Michael, I think this can wait till outside the family meeting. Restructured in what way? Because of the amounts of money involved, shipment and dispatch will become the primary source of income to the company. And with the help of my wife, I will organize an expansion into America where the narcotics business is just beginning to grow. So I have very good contacts in Detroit, New York, Boston, who I've already spoken to about this. And Gina has family who are very experienced in this kind of business. According to the conversations I've had with them, with a regular supply within a short space of time, the American narcotics business will bring in $20 million per annum. Enough money for you to all enjoy an easing of the burden you all now feel. And as a member of the new generation, I'm able to take that great burden off your weary shoulders. There'll be new opportunities and new territories, more money than we've ever had before. You can still do the good work that deep down you want to do. Mom, you can get married and live in that big house. Arthur, you can be the man that Linda wants you to be. Linda. Finn. So she's not dead. You've proved yourself. You're part of the new generation. You could come to New York with me. So this is, oh my God, so this is Michael coming from the crown. Here is my proposal. A full restructuring of the company. I will be managing director and you can be non-executive chairman, but under the assumed <laughs> name to protect your reputation. <laughs> I found the name of a dead man. You will be registered as Mr. Jones. You will each receive a percentage of the profits as an annuity, and you will no longer have to engage in any of the associated activities. It was Michael. The black cat. Take a look at the future, Tommy. At least read it with an open mind. It's cold in here, Michael. Oh. <laughs> Tommy, the Americans want to deal with me. Item number three. Tell him the truth. Go on. He can take it. The Americans don't want to deal with an old-fashioned backstreet razor gang. Those days are done. Tommy, he's bitten through the f***ing road. They've got him cornered, but they need help. Go on, get him! I'm doing so then... this for you, Tommy. It's time. And you know it. Tommy, mom's leaving. John's dead. Arthur needs help. Ada's man was killed in your own backyard because you fucked up. Come on, Tommy. Oh. Go on, cut me. Like the good old days. Oh. See this for <laughs> this what is it is. Crazy. A natural succession that someday must happen. I gave you an opportunity, Michael. You betrayed me. Don't be here when I get back. You? You can tell your family. Let me guess. Don't f with the Peaky Blinders. Right? Mm. Whoa! Well, guess we're gonna be forced to take the second option. Get the gun down the fucking Buddy! Buddy! Put down the gun. That's ease. Finn? That's ease, soldier. That's ease. Oh, look at me. You're on our side. You're at home. You're at home. Yeah. 
It's like this, Barney. Sir Amaya? Oh. Yeah. And said when Charlie's eye before he falls over, the devil will now be an angel. Isaiah, Curly, you go with him. Come, brother. Let me give you the good news. Jesus loves you. So where the f is he? Some century <laughs> meeting of the generation that actually do the work. Right. <laughs> All right, so item number three. An introduction. Except now, I've already met the man I was going to introduce. In France, he was a comrade. <laughs> what the f does he know, Tom? <laughs> He's a man we can use, Johnny. For what? Put him in a ring with a bear and take bets on the outcome. I tell you, I wouldn't put much money on a f***ing bear. No drama. That man is a trained Royal Marine sniper. Furthermore, he has a criminal profile which will make his actions explicable to the police. What actions? The killing. Barney Thomason, who's going to kill an MP, hmm. possibly the future Prime Minister of Great Britain. What the f***, Tom? After the killing, there will be an investigation by a special branch and intelligence forces. There'll be a lot of powerful people as angry as f hornets. Barney Thomason is registered as criminally insane. He broke out. He's an old soldier. He's known grievances. No one will question the assassination was carried out by a single gunman acting alone. And you'd sacrifice an old comrade? If they catch him, they won't hang him on grounds of insanity. They'll just send him back to where I found him. And they've had a very eventful holiday that he'll probably believe never really happened. And where will this killing take place? He'll be on stage. Oh, great. Lots mm. of witnesses. <sighs> During yep, the rally, right. there will be an anti-fascist demonstration. Amidst the confusion, a shot will be fired. And we're organising this demonstration. Where will you be, Tom? I'll be down on one knee, cradling his head, while the laugh drains from him. And I'll make a speech, saying how the cause he died for must continue, until you safe in my hands. Holy f***. Tommy, does your ambition have no limits? Jimmy McAvan will be running security at this event. He'll probably be in the wings. You could take his life, whichever money you choose. You and Arthur and a couple of the D boys, they'll be in charge. of getting Barney into position. He'll be up on the lighting gantry. We need chains and a twitch top. No, I will medicate him. So he's going to be cross-eyed when he takes his shot? In France, he never missed. No matter what they gave him, he'll have had plenty of target practice. Like, marine snipers. Shot. Snipers are just oh, built different. Give him some cocaine. Like. Sharpen him up. So, just, you're going to be up on this stage while this criminally insane gunman filled with cocaine takes aim at a man just a yard away from you. Welcome to the family, Abarama. Mm -hmm. What about me, Thomas? Man with the broken leg. After the killing, every copper in Birmingham will be sent to Bingley Hall. Use that opportunity. To get that boat full of opium, not to Starbridge locks. There, you'll be missed. Right, of course, because it's always gentlemen. a tear Walks down. Suitcases full of cash, two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Every man in this room will receive thirty thousand pounds in cash. And <laughs> anyone who wants to leave, leave now. Anyone who is tired of this old-fashioned back street. Razor gang can leave. Anyone who is tired can f***ing stop. Oh, I want to know how he's feeling. Yeah, I was like, why are we zooming in on him right now? Because I think some people realize, like, he's a vortex of mm -hmm. just it's tough. bad news. Whose house is this with all the oddities? Yeah, my man. I was just having some oil. Rubbed in the bits are really hurt, mate. Did you figure that view? Hey. Eh? Wait, what the? F what can you do? I'll tell you something, Tommy. Right, I sit all day, every day in that chair. Or did he all not die? Day, contemplating a fag. Life is so much easier to deal with when you are dead. He he oh. died. Wow. Hello, Alfie. Yeah, did you did you look through the binoculars? I watch ships, no two are the same. Yeah. That is how God sees us both in his eyes. God, eh? Hey? Yeah, sort of. I mean, you know, someone's responsible for all this f mess. Now, 
How soon did you know that I was not dead? He wrote me a letter, Alfie. Did I? <laughs> yeah, you asked about your dog. They gave me a lot of drugs at first. Yeah, all right. Wasn't he already dying of cancer? I was lying out there. I mean, he is, so yeah. I'd come in here, he woke me up. I remember looking around and thinking, you know, if this is hell, it looks a lot like my game. <laughs> Maybe that's just what hell looks like, eh? No, no, not according to this holy book right here. It gives a very, very vivid description. You and I are both f***ed, mate. <laughs> you read the papers, Alfie? No, don't be silly. What you've heard? Well, fascism, yeah? Three, two, one, bang. No, five. <laughs> Oh, Lord, your fucking condition has got worse, mate. Mine, on the other hand, I had to be living a dream. Sometimes I will shoot at the side of a ship, and sometimes I'll sit here, I may shoot at the old seagull. Alfie? He's just crazy. <laughs> I'm going to shoot Oswald Mosley. Right, well, I hope you do a better job on him than the one you've done on me, yeah? What were you thinking? Was your mind somewhere else, Tommy? Yes, it was, actually. Yeah. All right. Why do you want to shoot him? I need to organise a riot. And I hear you still have some standing in the Jewish community. Let me be, be clear, all right? Since my resurrection, I am considered to be a god, all right? In the Holy Land, someone has made an image of me out of rock embedded in the sand. So I'm told and I'm mm -hmm. to make a pilgrimage to stand in my own shadow. Are you going to shoot him because this man is evil? I need men who can fight. Mostly uses men from Glasgow. So if the men causing the trouble are Jewish, it will be explicable. She's why you need explanations to me. Since I entered politics. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah. And how has that been for you, Tom? Gangs, wars, truces. Nothing I didn't already know. Hmm. <laughs> so you think if you kill him... He's so funny. Kill the message. I will kill the man. Then I will kill the message. How much are you paying? So we might do it for the cause, Alfred. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Each man will get twenty pound. You'll get five thousand. As a god, Tommy, right? I am now able to just rise above those kinds of insults, man. Ten. Rise above the insult. How is my dog? Dog is fine. Mm. That case, ten should be enough. Where do you want men? Birmingham. No, no. That's when it will not be enough. My last to step inside that fucking shit out. It'll have mm -hmm. to be 25 at least. 25 it is. We could take your dog back then, eh? No, it's better for him to think that I am still dead. <laughs> As it is also with the police. All right. So you're still at it, eh, Tommy? Mm. Ain't got no Margate to go to. I have no interest in shooting seagulls. Oh, yeah, in shooting cabinet ministers. Mm. Yeah. And the paid informants. Mm. <laughs> I was on a lot of drugs at first, right, due to the pain, you know, on account of it. Well, you know, being shot in the face by some. <laughs> oh, I won't bore you with the details of the trivia. Nonetheless, I had a recurring dream. I saw you in a field, right, with a big black horse, and you, you said goodbye, and then. Bang. Mm. All right then, well. Damn. What now? I'll continue. Till I find a man. And I can't defeat. Damn. Arthur asked whose side I was on. There will be a war, and one of you will die. But which one, I cannot tell. Mm. He's going to do it anyway. Yep. You should know, if Abraham takes his side, I will kill him. What about me? Hmm. 
For real, though. What do you want to have to do, Paul? Kill and kill. The only way to make people listen. I mean, you were killing people and you said people still aren't listening, so... Soon you will have a stage to stand on. Millions of people will listen to you. And you will run the country like you run this family. It appears to be what people want. But not me. Not anymore. Oh. My resignation. Oh, hot dang. It's Barney you're worried about his sleeping. But I can't sleep for my f***ing leg is cracked. Tell me how my mother went, Charlie. Oh. You know. She drowned. I know it wasn't by accident. Mm. Tell me the truth. The Charlie. truth, Charlie. Yeah. No f***ing truth. She just stepped into the canal. Your dad was no use. It's me trying to stop her for three days. Does she say why? I have nothing that made sense. Tell me the things that didn't make sense. She said it were the gypsies made the nails for Jesus' cross. And that's why we're cursed and restless. You have to move around and the guilt catches up with you. I said, well, why not go on the road for a bit? She went to Worcester. She came back with a white pony, which she gave to you. I used to ride it round, remember? Well, she seemed happy for a bit watching you ride it. And then she was gone. None of it made any sense. Afterwards, whenever I looked at that white pony, I saw her. You see, I was in love with her, Tom. No one knew but me. Broke my fucking heart to pull her from the cut. Your grandfather, he went the same way. Jesus. Damn. Sometimes these things run in the family. Fuck family, Tom. You just have to get on with it. You're a gypsy. You have to move around or it all catches up with you. Wow, okay. I have to go, yeah? I have to go. We go where? They're shooting a fascist tonight. You're gonna do what? Oh, it's been about to f this really? up. Look, go into town, get some drink and some girl, and listen to the radio. He's gonna let them know. He's gonna warn somebody. He's gonna f it. He's gonna f it up. Up. Oh. Where to go, Finn? Where to f go? Oh my God. Anybody heckles you, beat the fuck out of them. Hold yourself down. Yeah. It's not a game, it's a lot to protest for. Alright. Let her go. I don't need the help of the fascist. Yes, you do. Let's steal our slang, they'll do whatever they want to you. Let her go. And Tommy Shelby, and I'm ordering you to let her go. Go on. Stop. Jesse, you can do more damage from the inside. You understand? You can do more damage from the inside. Come on. Alright. Now, yeah, what you doing, Richard? Uh, Tommy. Check his pocket watch. I count ten. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, does it? Blah, blah. Does this work? Or? You don't mind. You're wrong, white. Don't stop. What did you mean, damage from the inside? I have a strategy. You always have a strategy. It's dangerous, and it cannot be shared without sharing the danger. You think I'm afraid? No, um, it's only going to put you in more danger. Jesse, before the speeches start, just go home. There's going to be lots of arrests. You have a mark against your name. Why? What's going to happen? I'm going to do a good thing. Whenever I do a good thing, innocent people get hurt. So go home. After this evening, we can meet, discuss strategy. That beast. Out there, he's just a beast. It's like a horse. It's the rider that disappears. Another reflection that I can read. Do will be the rider. Just 
go up. Oh, sh oh, sh <gasps> you turn the radio on, turn the volume up. I want to listen to the news. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Oswald. Look, this song is wild. Welcome, men and women of Birmingham. Thank you for coming here on this cold, dark night. In spite of the obstruction and provocation of our enemies, our enemies deal in bricks and stones. We deal in reason, principle, argument, and fact. It's always and fact. Those enemies, we can number Mr. Winston Churchill, who last night condemned me in the house as a threat to democracy. Well. <laughs> Them's have gone of the lucky ones. Them's have gone of the lucky ones. But of course, not all attending tonight will be convinced of our cause. Some will have come here tonight to find out for themselves what we stand for. When are we all ready, Tom? I'm stressed out. That's not how that works. Something happened. There's no. That man picked up the phone. That man picked up the phone, bro. Kill him right now. I think it's about time to get off the stage, old man. Think I wish you here at You gotta get away from the body. Dude. What the fuck are you doing here? What happened? Then open his mouth. Wait. Oh, but I'm as dead. They're gone and they came for me, sir. So. Oh, they got to Barney. They knew everything. They knew everything. Oh. Oh, no, John. Johnny, get this woman out of here. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Dude, my heart was pounding. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, the Chinese? Mm. The Italians? No. But, come on. Right. Fuck. Kevin Mosley. Mosley! No nothing! He do nothing! You're fucking frightening my son. That's not make sense. Ben said the wrong thing to the wrong person. Ben. You know, Tom, you must know what you do. You're fucking scaring me. What are you doing? I would have found him. Arthur, the man I can't defeat. Mosley, I don't know. Doesn't make sense. Walk it out. Have a drink. I need to walk. <sighs> oh, it's all done, Tommy. It's all done. We can walk away from all of this. There's a horse. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. It's so soft. Such a small change. <sighs> ah! Shoo. Oh my god. <coughs> it's Joe Dark. That one spit. <laughs> I literally, that is, you guys, that, this season, Season five. It'll do it to you. 
I just like can't believe people have to wait. Wait, I know. What the freak, man? I would have been so butthurt. I would have too, especially leaving it on on that. Oh mm-hmm. my god! Like I don't even know what happened. I have no words to sum up this season because like. No, I need the next. Yeah. And I need it now. Yeah. No, exactly. So. I, like, uh, like, I don't I, even I don't think I'll be able to. I have no. no I'm like. I, I need more. We don't know. Like, they, they basically allude to Linda's still alive. After yeah, the last episode. Like, Fuck Linda. And nobody's doing their mourning thing. Nothing. Like, no one's no mourning one's her. Anything. Also, the soldier's she's... dead. Ada's baby daddy's dead. We gloss over that. Michael. We come back and home, he's just railing lines of coke with Finn. I know. It's so disorienting, like the whole season was. We really flew over everything. Oh my god. And then he's going to probably figure out that it was Finn. Well, and then figure it out that Billy. it was the guy. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. This is going to be huge. This next season is going to be fucking huge. It's yeah. going to be a roller coaster, right? It has to be. Yeah. Well, um,. So I guess we'll see you in the sixth season. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye.